In today's video, I'll be walking you through how I created my very first underwater shoot. The stress, the struggle, the drama, and basically everything, all right? And some tips and tricks on doing an underwater shoot. But before we delve into it, please remember to subscribe, like, and share. It does a lot to us, okay? Let's get into it. My underwater shoot, it all started while I was in Abuja. A friend of mine called her, called me and she's like, hey, when I come to jobs, I'm like, sit down next week, I guess. And she's like, I have this idea for a photo shoot. It's an underwater shoot. I was like, wow, sounds good. Let's do it. She's like, yeah, I want us to do it in Yankee Reserve. Yeah, she gave me the whole idea and <laughs> I dropped the call and then it hit me that we're talking about on the water shoot. But in my mind, to be honest, I was thinking she's not serious. Probably she'll forget because you have people call you and tell you about ideas. But trust me, they always forget about those ideas. Anyways, I got to Jaws. To be honest, I've never done an underwater shoot before. I had no idea, no clue whatsoever as to what I should expect and how things would turn out. But then as God will have it, I a friend of mine called Titomatic bought an underwater case. I just remembered and then I called him. I was like, hey boss, can I use this underwater case of yours that you bought? He's like, yeah, sure. I've never used it, come pick it up. And boom, head to Yankari Game Reserve. On arriving there, we actually um, checked in into our hotels and uh, oh, just kind of just going around seeing the animals and all of that and Jaru, who is the makeup artist and stylist was like hey guys i think we should get straight to work because i mean that's what brought us here and i was like yo girl <laughs> too much pressure we went to the um wiki warm spring um, and we tried to do some a couple of shoot delete makeup and all of that and the pictures were horrible literally i wish i had some of those i deleted them but the pictures were horrible and they were like can we see can we see i'm like no they're so good i'm not gonna show you now you know because i want you to put in your best but the truth is the pictures were terrible i could not even show it to them because i know if i show it to them they would be discouraged right now on day two um we started pictures again it was terrible however there were some students who came to see the wiki worm and some of them decided they wanted to swim and there was lots of people on the water so we were unable to continue to shoot i was excited about it i was like yes i went on youtube you know um but i got some tips here and there just watching other people's video so we got back that evening on day two we did some couple of shoots and uh, to be honest it was manageable but that night day two i really could not sleep i was awake all through the night learning about underwater shoot reading everything i could i just could not afford to let them down the whole team i could not let them down you know and then of course i ended it up with a prayer i was like man god you know don't let me down i mean we came all the way make this happen for me right and then the next day, which is day three, and our final day, so we got there in the evening and we started the pictures. I am not exaggerating, but the very first picture I took as soon as we got there that evening was a hit. And my confidence just came back and I was like, hey, come see one of the pictures. <laughs> And they came and everybody was like, oh my goodness, you know, uh, they had no clue that all the other days was just crap. But at this point, I was like, I need to take advantage of whatever it is that is working or whatever it is that I've learned to just get more or some pictures that I could show to them. So I told Jaru, um, why don't we try this one? Why don't we try this other cloud? Why don't we, you know? Um, I was just taking advantage to get more good pictures. So yeah, we did a couple of pictures that day. Uh, more ideas were coming in because now I'm confident. Lots of great pictures coming out. Now, we have good pictures. Went back home, everybody got back. Jerry is back to Abuja, I mean back in Jaws with Farah. Because I was super excited about the picture, so I edited it as quick as possible. And then when we posted the pictures the next day in the morning, People were calling me, 
I mean, people were calling the model, calling the makeup artist. So we decided to call that project KJV, right? Which is Karen Jaru Vera, King James Version. And it was a hit. And yeah, it went viral. Some are saying it's fake, some are saying it's Photoshop. And yeah, that's the story. And that's how we have these pictures.